staying healthy and safe. Thank you all so very much for supporting my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. And also, if this video helps you, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Today, I'll be discussing about how to highlight min and max point in a chart. In order to do so, what I'll have to do is create a chart with markers. What I'm doing with markers is so that the markers are um, clearly visible and then I can um, edit the markers easily. So for example here, what I like to do is change the color to of the marker to red. And similarly, uh, for the min value, minimum value, I like to change the color to, so the red was for max value and for min value, I like to select green coloring. Now you can see I have red for max and uh, green for min. Let me go ahead and make the chart a little bigger. Uh, however, so this particular point 1099, if I change this to uh, 400, the color itself stays with uh, the same data point. So what I like to do is um, when the value changes on the data, I like to change um, the coloring uh, or the max and min value uh, with coloring reflects the change in the value in uh, in the data point. In order to do so, what we'll need to do is to use conditional formatting. Um, in order to do so, let me go ahead and change these colors back to how it was in the fr um, in the beginning. What I'll do is create a max. Uh, column and min column for max column I'll go ahead and type in um, equals if so the logical test would be cell if cell equals max the range the true value would be the cell itself and if not I'd leave it as in a function so what I'll do is I'll leave this empty so that um, we can see the difference when it has empty value and it has any function so I'll go ahead and hit enter so when you double click this you'll see multiple values here what is happening here is when the cell changes from this C2 to C3, notice that the formula changes from, for the range changes from B2 to B13 to B3 to B14. So the cell reference is not absolute here. So what I'll go ahead and do is change the cell reference to absolute by putting in dollar signs and then repopulating all the cells. So now you see that there's only one value max on col in column C. So similarly, for min value, I will uh, use min function, select the range, and then change the range to um, absolute reference. So if the value is true, it will be cell and leave the value of false as empty value and I'll hit enter and then double click this. In order for these min and max values to reflect on the chart, what I'll do is go ahead and select this and drag it so that it includes columns C and D. Actually,
there you go. So now you can see that these max value and min values have these lines, which I would like to remove. The lines are because we have left um, these empty. So in order to remove those, what I'll do is change this to any function and then double click it. Same thing with this one. I'll change empty value to any function and hit enter, double click it. Now you'll see that the values have, um, the lines have gone now. Now you can edit the marker points itself. So I'll make these a little smaller so that I have space for access titles. Let me go ahead and change these marker to, uh, you can make the markers bigger, smaller. Um, I'll go ahead and do markers. It's better to do it bigger so that it's much more clearly visible. So that is for my max value. For my min value, I'll go ahead and change color to green. Now we'll go ahead and increase the width. Now you can clearly see the min and max values. And then I'll go ahead and add chart element. Uh, let's go ahead and add chart title as min max chart. I'm going to remove these grid lines. More chart element access titles primary horizon tool would be month and then primary vertical would be primary vertical would be sales. Now uh, you have a very um, visually attractive min and max chart with uh, clearly highlighted uh, min and max points and these are dynamic as well so for example if you change this max value to let's see uh, 450 the value automatically the highlighted value automatically goes to a different value which is 990 now so this is how you can create a dynamic minimum and maximum chart. I hope this video helps you all. If this video helps you, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And also please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you all so very much. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.